Hi, it's Dawn from Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today I have a new project for us to do. This is a little case that I made for my sunglasses. I'm always taking my sunglasses and just tossing them in my bag or tossing them in my in the glove box in my car and they have a tendency to get scratches on the lenses so I made this little case and put a nice little button on it for my sunglasses and I wear these big chunky sunglasses here because they fit over the top of my glasses so they just fold up put them in the case and button it up and then I can just toss it in my car or toss it in my bag and helps protect the lenses from getting scratched. So I'm going to bring down the camera so we can talk about the yarn, the hooks, and everything that you need and start working on this cute little case for our glasses, sunglasses. Or you can use them for regular glasses too. It would work either way. Here's a little up close look at the case without the glasses in it. Um, I used this little heart button on it as well. And I used Red Heart Super Saver in the color Aaron Fleck. This is a 96% acrylic, 4% other fibers. That's these uh, Fleck colors in here. This is a medium four worsted weight yarn. It is machine wash and dry. Um, do not iron, do not dry clean. So you can use this yarn. You don't have to use this yarn. You can use any medium four yarn that you wish to use. You will need approximately one ounce of yarn or about 50, 55 yards of yarn to complete this project. I used a 5.5 millimeter hook or an eye hook. You'll want a yarn needle, a pair of scissors. You might want a stitch marker. Um, you may or may not need it. It really depends on your uh, choice. And I used some pins to pin it together when I was sewing the case, the sides of the case. Again, that is optional. It's really up to you. So once you have all your supplies together, let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, and let's start working on making this sunglass eyeglass case. To start the sunglass case, we're going to start with a slip knot on our hook and a chain of 23. Once you have your chain of 23, I'll meet back up with you. Now that we have our chain of 23, we're going to start second chain from hook. The loop on our hook does not count as a stitch, so we're going to go one, two, and start in the second chain. For this project, we're going to flip our chain over and work in the back bars of the chain. So we're going to go one, two, and start in the second chain. I'm going to start with a single crochet. We're going to continue with single crochet in each chain all the way down the chain. So put one single crochet into each chain and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the chain. I'm at the end of row one, or at the end of the chain. We have 22 stitches. To start row two, we're going to chain up three, turn the work, and this is going to be our first row of the triangle stitch. So we're going to yarn over the hook, insert into that first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and now we should have seven loops on our hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yarn over and pull through all seven loops. Chain one, 
and that completes the triangle stitch and we're going to do a, another chain and we're ready to go on to our next stitch. So yarn over the hook and we're going to insert back into the last work stitch which is right here. Pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Again, seven loops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yarn over the hook, go through all seven loops, chain one to secure it, another chain to go on to the next stitch. Again, we're going to go back into that last work stitch, yarn over, insert into that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, seven loops on our hook, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yarn over the hook, and pull through all seven loops. Chain one to secure the stitch, and chain one again. And this is what our stitches look like. It's called the triangle stitch. So we're going to continue making the triangle stitch all the way down till we have one stitch left. So I'll show it to you one more time. Yarn over the hook, insert into that last work stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all seven loops, chain one, and chain one. So continue working this stitch till you get to the last stitch. You should have one stitch left and I'll meet up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row. I made my last triangle stitch and chain two. I have one stitch left and we're going to do a half double crochet in that last stitch. Just like that. So you should have 10 triangle stitches with chain spaces in between each stitch. To start row 3, we're going to chain 1 and turn the work. In that very first stitch, we're going to place a single crochet. In the first chain space right here, this chain space, we're going to put one single crochet. We're going to skip the triangle stitch and go to the chain space. So we're going to work just in the chain spaces. We're going to place two single crochets into the chain space. I'm going to skip to the next chain space and put two single crochets. Skip to the next chain space and put two single crochets. Continue working two single crochets until you get to this very last chain space. I'll meet back up with you when we get to the last chain space. I'm at the end of row three. I've come to that last chain space. So we're going to put one single crochet into that chain space and then into the top of that turning chain right here we're going to place one single crochet. So now we have a total of 22 single crochets. Now from here for row four for row 4 to row 19, we're just going to be repeating row 2 and 3. So I'm going to start you off again on row 2, which will be our triangle stitch. And we're going to repeat row 2, row 3, row 2, row 3, to get to row 19. So to start off row 4, we chain up 3, 1, 2, and 3 and turn the work. Yarn over the hook, insert into that first stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, 
yarn over, go into the next stitch, and pull up a loop. We now have seven loops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yarn over, go through all seven loops, chain one to secure the stitch, and chain one again. Yarn over the hook, go back into that last stitch worked, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, and pull up a loop. Again, seven loops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yarn over, pull through all seven loops. Chain one, and chain one. And again, continue this to you get to that last stitch where it'll be a half double crochet. Then you're going to repeat row three, which is your single crochets. Continue working this pattern till you reach row 19. We're at row four right now. And I'll meet back up with you at the end of row 19. I'm at the end of row 19. We still have 22 stitches to start row 20. We're going to chain one and turn the work. For this row only, we're going to be working in our back loops. If you're unfamiliar with your, what is your front loop or your back loop, turn your work up so you can see your little V's. This loop is your front loop and this loop is your back loop. We're going to be working in just the back loops for this row. So we're going to place one single crochet into that back loop of each stitch. I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of row 20. We still have 22 stitches. To start row 21, we're going to chain one and turn the work. For rows 21 to 23, they're going to be exactly the same, which is one single crochet in each stitch. We're going to work through both loops for these rows. So one single crochet into each stitch. I will meet back up with you at the end of row 23. I'm at the end of row 23. We still have 22 stitches. To start row 24, we're going to chain up one and turn the work. For row 24, we're going to single crochet in the first 10 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now we're going to form our buttonhole. So we're going to chain two, one, two, and skip the next two stitches, one, two, and go into the third, and single crochet for the remaining stitches, and there should be ten of them, including this one right here. So this would be one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we still have 22 stitches. We have 20 single crochets and two chain stitches. Now round 20, row 25 is going to be a chain one, turn the work, and we're going to single crochet in each stitch across. So continue placing single crochet in each stitch across and I'll meet back up with you at the end of row 25. I'm at the end of row 25. 
I still have 22 stitches. To start row 26, we're going to chain one and turn the work. Now row 26, we're going to start decreasing our ends to make the flap of our eyeglass case start to turn in a little bit. To do that, we're going to insert into the next stitch, or the first stitch, pull up a loop, insert into the next stitch, and pull up a loop. We'll have three loops on our hook, yarn over, draw through all three loops, and then we're going to single crochet in each stitch across until we get to the last two stitches where we're going to single crochet two together again. I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of row 26. I'm at the last two stitches. I'm going to insert into that next stitch, pull up a loop, insert into the last stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through all three loops. So now we have 20 stitches at the end of row 26. Row 27, we're going to chain up one and turn the work. And we're going to again single crochet two together, insert into that first stitch, pull up a loop, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through all three loops, then single crochet one <coughs> in each stitch across till we get to those last two stitches where we're going to single crochet two together. I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of row 27. We have two stitches left. We're going to single crochet them together. So insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up the loop, insert into the next last stitch, pull up a loop, three loops left on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Now we're on the last row, which is row 28, and we're going to do the same thing we did with our last two rows. I'm going to chain one and turn the work. And we're going to single the first two stitches, single crochet the first two stitches together. And single crochet one in each stitch across over to the last two stitches. Continue working single crochet till you get to the last two stitches and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of row 28 and we're going to single the last two stitches together. We now have 16 stitches. We're going to go ahead and fasten off. And before we sew up our sides, we're going to go ahead and weave in all of our ends. So we're going to weave this end in and weave the bottom end in. And I'll be right back and we'll show you how to, I'll show you how to weave up, excuse me, how to uh, sew up the sides. Actually, we're going to single crochet the sides together. So once you have your ends all um, woven in, lay your case down so that the ridge from the row of back loop is facing up. This is the outside of the case or the right side of the case. So we're going to fold up our case so that row 1 meets up with row 19, which is just below the ridge. Now, what I like to do is to get some pins and pin this in place. So I'm going to get my pins out. And I'm going to pin down 
my piece together, pin it together so that my edges are nice and lined up. Now you can, if you want, you can pin yours down. If you don't want to, that's perfectly fine too. Whatever you would like to do. I like to have mine pinned down so that my edges line up and they don't move when I'm trying to crochet the case to uh, the sides together or if you want to you can whip stitch them together as well so I'm going to continue pinning this together and I'll be right back now we have our case all pinned together I'm going to turn it sideways so that our flap is to the left and put a slip knot on our hook and go th attach our yarn make sure you go through both thicknesses attach it with a slip stitch let me bring down the camera some here And we're going to work single crochets along the edge to uh, connect our sides, to seam our sides together. Make sure you get through both thicknesses. So you want to make sure you get both thicknesses when you're doing your single crochets. And it doesn't matter how many uh, single crochets that you, you do. And it's okay if it's a little, um, if it's not the prettiest looking. This is the inside of the case and it's not going to be visible on the outside of your case. So make sure you're getting, like I said, both thicknesses and you can take your pins out as you're working just continue working those single crochets through both thicknesses when we get to the corner here we're going to do something basically the same but we're going to be working a little more carefully around that flap because that flap will be visible on the outside of our case so we want to make sure we work carefully on the flap okay just got a little bit more to go till we get to that edge. We want to try to get it into the stitch, not necessarily in the gap space. Now we're in our last, now we're going to start going, we're going to start working on our flap. Now we're going to be still doing single crochet, but we're going to be doing more like <clears throat> close to doing one stitch in every row. It might not be exactly one stitch in every row, but we're going to try to be pretty close to one stitch in every row going around the flap. But again, we're going to want to work the flap a little more carefully than we necessarily did down here because this part isn't going to be visible on the outside of our, our case.
and we've come up to that corner and I like to place at least three single crochets in the corner to round that corner off around the corner of the case. So you want to place three single crochets in that last stitch there. Then we're going to go ahead and work all the way across and again when we get to that last stitch go ahead and place three single crochets so you can go around sorry about that all, work all the way across and place three single crochets so on that corner. So I'm going to go ahead and continue working across the top of this flap here, one in each of these stitches. And when I get to that corner, I'll meet back up with you. I've reached that corner and I'm on that last stitch, I'm going to go ahead and put three single crochets into that stitch to round off the corner. And then we're going to go working our way down the flap again, the other side of the flap and single crochet. Let's stitch in there, there we go. And once we come to the case corner again, that's where we're going to just start working back through both layers again. So please continue working through both layers until you get down to the corner and then we'll fasten off. I'm all the way at the bottom of the case, again the bottom of the side, opposite side. We're going to go ahead and fasten off. So just have to weave in our ends. So we're going to weave these ends in, which I'll do later on. I'm just going to turn this inside out to show you what it looks like. our flap. So we're going to go ahead and sew our button on right about here. You just want to line it up with your flap. Now if you're not super sure where you want the button to go because of the thickness of your glasses, what I would suggest doing is actually putting your glasses in the case then rolling your flap over it to see where your buttonhole lines up. Taking a pin and just kind of gently, don't be careful not to scratch your glasses, just put your pin through there and kind of place it in there so you see right where your button needs to be. So our button should be right here and we can just kind of leave our pin right there just like that. And then we can take our glasses out. Now we know right where to put our button so the flap will close properly and the button will line up right where that hole is. So I'm going to go ahead and sew the button on and I'll be right back. So I've got my button all sewn on and it lines up perfectly with the buttonhole. So we just pop it right through just like that. And my glasses fit in there just perfectly. Just pop them right in. And there we go. So if you've liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye bye.